it's going to be Manuel in lane three. Olympic record, Manuel. From two gold and two silver medals in the 2016 Summer Olympics to swimming laps at Norfolk's Southside Aquatic Center. What was Olympic champion swimmer Simone Manuel doing in Norfolk? I'm here in support of my aunt who has ALS. Um, she loves swimming and I swim myself. In what turns out to be a small world, Simone's aunt, Glenn Joyner, lives in Chesapeake. She's always supported Simone through the TV screen but has never seen her swim in person until this very moment. It was really amazing for her to see me swim in person. She definitely has watched me many times on TV and cheered and supported for me, but just to be able to be here and make her feel so much joy in this time that she's been having is something that I'll never forget and hopefully something she will never forget. It all came about thanks to Norfolk lifeguard Alexis Jordan. She was recently contacted by one of Joyner's family members with the hopes of bringing Simone here. I made it my project to make sure that it happened. I let her know that I would do everything in my power to make sure that we got Simone in here to swim for her aunt. Her swimming drew smiles and nods of approval from Glenn and was part of a video shoot to raise awareness to and help fight ALS. It's such an honor that Norfolk has allowed me to be here and give awareness to ALS and give me the opportunity to swim in their amazing facility and um, really just showcases how much the city cares. There was even time to exchange gifts with the city. And we want to thank you again for being an Olympic champion, representing our country, and coming to Norfolk. And meet some young swimmers echoing Norfolk's pledge to help teach swimming to as many kids as possible. Learning to swim, especially when you're younger, could possibly save your life. Beyond that, learning how to swim could potentially get them into the sport of swimming and love it just like I do and hopefully do amazing things just like I have done.